I declare the motion defeated. That motion in the House of Commons was about calling on the federal government to establish a citizens' assembly on electoral reform. The motion failed to pass. It's been several years since the Liberals ran for election on the promise of electoral reform. The 2015 election will be the last federal election using first past the post. The first federal election that I voted in was 2015 for Trudeau, believing that I could elect somebody who would make that change. That promise was broken, but many Canadians still want change because they feel like their vote is is wasted with our current system. The way we vote now is called first past the post. It's winner takes all. The candidate with more votes than any other takes the riding. For instance, someone could win with just 30% of the votes. They get a seat in the House of Commons and the rest of the candidates are out of the running. I personally don't feel like my vote matters as much as I would like it to. And the first past the post is a very flawed system. It feels like you don't get to vote for somebody that you actually want to vote for. It feels like you're trying to do like mental gymnastics and, and harm reduction. A lot of people do feel like the current system doesn't really advocate for their own point of views and their own votes wouldn't necessarily be counted. My friends don't vote, they don't care about voting. This mentality of my voice isn't going to be heard, it's not worth it. I would like that they did, but they don't and I don't blame them for it, honestly. But for electoral reform to actually happen, the government would have to decide to replace our voting system with a different one. One option is proportional representation, where the percentage of votes would correspond to the number of seats in the House of Commons. If a party gets, let's say, 15 or 20 percent of the vote, they get roughly 15 or 20 percent of the seats. You can still have majority governments, but you actually have to earn them. There's also different models of this system. For example, with mixed member proportional representation, you would have to make two choices on a ballot. One for a candidate to represent you locally and one for a party. If it were a proportional ballot system, like your vote does count. On paper, I'd say proportional representation is the best one, but then you also open the door to, you know, risks with going into extremist parties. Another way to vote is by ranked ballot. You would rank candidates as your first choice, second, third, and so on. The the candidate with the fewest votes would lose, but if you voted for them, your vote would be transferred to your second choice. That would keep going until one candidate has more than 50% support. This is actually how Canada's political parties choose their leaders. And this is the voting system Trudeau has repeatedly said he supports. The ranked ballot system doesn't get us at proportionality, and it would obviously favor the Liberal Party because it is the second choice of both Conservatives and New Democrats. It's not a proportional system. It won't meet the criticisms that have been raised about our voting system, which is that it doesn't reflect what Canadians have said with their vote. Both of those political experts say Canada needs electoral reform at the federal level. And the young voters I spoke to agree. Many said an important part of the process is going to be how to explain a new voting system to the public. I think the key thing here is that it's a system that people understand. And so that's why I think that this Citizens Assembly makes a lot of sense. I do think an educational aspect is very critical to the electoral even though the motion failed, how MPs voted showed there's some cross-party support for electoral reform, or at least for establishing a citizens' assembly to look at the issue. As long as we have an electoral system that is as problematic as the one that we do, that regularly produces outcomes that seem at odds with what the democratic will of the people is, I think you'll find efforts to try to change it. The rules of the game are set by the winners, and not surprisingly, they don't want to change the rules that benefited them. So what do you think about electoral reform? Let us know in the comments.